so we can find the camp to bring us a history on the day. A round of applause for our very camp. Thank you. The truthful and testable data about the birthplace, discovery and evaluation of the Kente cloth started 10,000 years ago. Kente, related to the word Kente, which means basket. It is a hand weaving cloth accompanied by a name, significant. Theory of knowledge and history. It continues in Boyure, the now original home of Kinti. Two friends, Kregu and Amiyao, farmers and hunters by profession, raised at Boyure in Ghana, premeditated the way the spider went about intrinsic act of weaving its cobweb. They perfected their first weaving system called Ayase Entuma using thin fiber. They developed a second system called Asase Entuma using cotton yarn. The third system of weaving developed was Insegiaso Entuma using silk or cotton. With reference to the weaving technology, it occurred to the people of Boiri to use combination of European silk and cotton in weaving. It worked. The cloth was marvelously strong. You know, it gave the kente cloth a new appearance like a weaving basket. The newly weaving cloth was shown to Boiri chief, Nana Bobin and Sadi first. Who gave it to the Asante king, Nana Osaitu II, the first? The Kente was inspiring. Combination of colors and patterns with prominent names has kept right at full speed with the activity of going rate artistic judgment. Some Kente designs are derived from important names and events, such as Fatsia, Fatsa, and Chroma. This is a party named after the wife of the first president of Ghana, Dr. Pat Chroma. We have parties like Bakufu in Bugomai, meaning one person does not rule alone. Emada never has such a design been made before. And Minasa means all artistic designs have been exhausted. You can see for yourself, today, Kente has become a universal fabric with varieties of designs and productions being advanced to meet miscellaneous tasks and uses. Nanano, Ghana Mamba, ladies and gentlemen, this is the history of Kinti. <laughs> My voice.